right guys hope you're all okay welcome back to the channel thanks for joining me today for another video today we're just going to be doing a quick field test at the Bofeng DM1701 so for those of you who haven't seen the video on this I did recently we did a review and a test on one of the local repeaters on DMR so I've come out today to Marple which is just outside Stockport uh, we're in Brabins Park and I'm with James Fletcher um, who's a very good friend of mine 20 KBA and we're just going to do a short field test out in the open of this um, Bofeng DM1701 so James is on the other side of the park. We've calculated there's probably around a mile between us, so there's not a lot. We're just going to be using DMR Simplex, and we're going to be on the calling channel just in, ca in case anyone's listening and wants to join in. So uh, we'll put a quick call out for James now. Okay, James, are you receiving 20 KBA uh, Mobile M3HHY Mobile? Yeah, 20 KBA Portable, 2MPHHY Portable. Lewis, I'm receiving loud and clear. Yep, no worries, you're loud and clear this side as well. I think you're on the uh, Retivis RT3S, so uh, I'm just on the Bofeng DM1701, as you know. So yeah, you're sounding quite clear this side, James. Uh, I'm just by the river down the bottom of the park, so if you can hear any noise in the background that's not probably not quite modulating very well, it's um, possibly the noise of the river being picked up by the microphone. Um, DMR can be a little bit funny when modulating certain um, sounds and things like that. But yeah, it's coming through uh, loud and clear, James. Back to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no worries. I'll just explain to the video that there's about probably about a mile between us across this park in Bravins Park in, in Marple just outside Stockport. So yeah, there's a mile between us. It's quite flat land, so it's not a really strenuous test. It's just a good opportunity today while well, I'd say the weather's nice, but it's not. It's quite grey and, and wet, but weather's reasonably mild, so I just said it'd be a nice opportunity to come out with some radios today, so that's what we're doing. So, uh, yeah, and uh, you're obviously on the Retivis RT3S. What do you think of that radio um, that you're using there, James? I know it's your first time using one of those. This is my first time using Retivis. Uh, I was the first time using DMR as well, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, it's quite good. It's quite nice. But yeah, your is quite nice. I quite like this. It's a lovely handset. It's nice and compact. But yeah, it's coming through. Uh, it's coming through well, James. Definitely just running five watts this side off the radio. So um, high, high power. It's um, low, medium, and high. Um, yeah, it's sounding good. Sounding really good. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. Back to you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a nice radio. This. Um, now, I'm also suggesting we move over to FM. I'm just curious. Um, it's because it's just a nice, handy, handy size. I've got the Avens. Uh, as well as you know, uh, DMR and FM, and I've only ever used on FM, no problem to DMR yet. Uh, I've just got to get the code sorted out for it. Um, well, this is a nice size than that, this is a bit more compact, it'll still feel reasonable. Did you drop key there, James? I think there might have been a little, tiny little bit of packet loss there at the end of your over. Apologies, yeah, I was just saying that this is a nice compact radio compared to the Aliens. This is the HD1 that I've got, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, it's a good size, I like it, it's a nice radio. Yeah, it's a nice uh, nice radio, very, very nice radio. Um, one of my favourites, actually, the RT3S. And it records and plays back and stuff like that. And, yeah, this this Bofeng, um, it records and plays back as well. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's quite nice. Right, well, what we'll do, James, is we'll just wrap up the DMR side of things and then I'll, uh, I'll walk towards you. And then we'll switch over to FM, if you want, and just do a, a quick test. Yeah, that sounds good. Let me say quickly... This being DMR, I'm standing quite close to my uh, GoPro. Uh, how likely are we to interfere with the GoPro with me transmitting DMR? Likely or not likely at all? Uh, not likely at all, James. I've never had an issue with it. Um, my DMR handsets sometimes interfere with my laptop or monitors, but um, they never interfere with my cameras. The, the radio I'm using here is about a foot away from the camera. Uh, it's not causing any issues. So, yeah, it should be fine, James. Okay, right, Lewis, I'm going to uh, turn myself around now, go back towards the uh, the meeting place, and then I'll uh, see you in a few minutes when we get back. Yep, no worries, cheers James, 7-3, we'll catch you in a little while, M3HHY Mobile. Okay, so as you can see, working well there on analog from both uh, both radios. So what we'll do now is I'm going to go and catch up with James. I think we'll change locations and then we'll try um, FM analog and see uh, how that works as well. Expecting it to work reasonably, uh, reasonably just as well. Two zero KBA mobile M3HHY mobile in frequency, James. Yeah, 
Yeah, 2 kba to m 3 hhy Mobile, yes. Lewis, I'm here hearing you and picking you up loud and clear. Yeah, no worries, James. Similar distance apart, I think, um, just on the analogue side of things now. Well, it's sounding really clear this side anyway, really, uh, really clear. Uh, nice crisp audio with a little bit of bass on it, so yeah, it's uh, spot on. Absolutely right. I was just saying to the camera, um, the great thing is, Lewis, I know that you're not too far because the audio is, uh, is that clear and there's no background hiss, there's no carrier. Uh, so I know that I can confidently put this radio in my pocket or onto my belt or put it down and not to worry about losing the signal because I know you're nearby. That's an advantage over DMR, don't you think? Yeah, you can tell more when the uh, sort of what level the signal is. It's um, a little bit more complicated than DMR, but yeah, it's sounding good. Sounding good, uh, James. Really, really happy with it. Um, yeah, can't fault it. I, I think, I think DMR has its application as well as, as well as FM does, and sometimes it's nice to um, flip between the two. I think for close range comms and repeaters and stuff, DMR's perfect. But I think for like range testing and things like what we're doing today, I think UHF. Uh, sorry, FM is probably the uh, the one to use. So yeah, no, all good, James. Back to you. Yeah, I think also the fact that we've got two in one effectively in this radio. Um, you know, depending on the application, you know, we can flip between DMR and uh, go back onto FM, onto analog. Uh, and it's nice having a radio that does everything you want it to do. And I do like this handset, this uh, Retifus. What's this one called? The uh, the IS is it? The Retifus IS or something? Yeah, it's the RT3S Romeo Tango uh, 3 Sierra. Uh, no, yeah, it's a very good answer, very good answer. And it's nice there that we managed to get together and program them from the front face as well, which is always uh, always handy. There's loads of dogs here running around on the field. It's like um, dog day today, it's great. <laughs> Back to you, James. Every day. <laughs> yeah, I've had a load of dogs past me, and uh, they're absolutely everywhere, aren't they? I'm going to get uh, terrorised by a little terrier in a minute. Uh, but no, loving it, Roger, loving it. Uh, I very much like his answer. Roger, the uh, speaker mic options for this Retivis, is it the same uh, Kenwood style as you get with other radios? Off the top of my head, James, I can't remember. It's either that or it's got the Motorola style mic. Off the top of my head, I can't remember, um, to be honest with you. Yeah, I've just checked and it is. Uh, which is something I like. I like um, the fact that they're all compatible with each other. Um, I would imagine, though, with using digital, does that cause any problems? Are they adequately uh, screened? And protected against the digital interference. Uh, that's uh, another consideration, perhaps. No, there's no difference, James. They work uh, work just as well. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's good. I've got the Alons mic, which I use some of my DMR handsets, and it, it works well. I even I even use some of the cheap Bofeng ones on on these radios, and they work uh, they work really well. There's loads of dogs there. <laughs> I'm not even concentrating on the video properly because there's like loads of dogs. It's uh, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, no, there's no interference for, from microphones or anything like that, James. They uh, they just sound the same. Back to you. Brilliant. No, it's an absolutely ideal handset. Then this is very 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 impressed with this. Look, I've just been terrorised by that terrier. I was just telling you about. Um, just had a go at me. Right, Rog, listen, I'm going to uh, head back towards you now, but uh, nice little test. Is there anything else you want me to do whilst I'm out here? No, as soon as you keyed up the mic then, the dog a dog looked at the radio and gave it a really funny look. <laughs> he looked horrified. Yeah, no worries, James, I'll, uh, I'll let you go and we'll, we'll head back. But cheers for the test and we'll catch you in a little while. Uh, 73M3HHY Mobile. Yeah, 73 is on 20 KBA Portable, standing by. Okay guys, so decent results there. Like I said in the video, I think DMR has its applications. I think for things like this where we're trying to sort of range test and, and, and that, I think I think I prefer the FM side of things, but it sounds great uh, on this radio from uh, from both modes. So yeah, really good test. Okay, what we'll do is we'll wrap this one up. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And all I have to say is 7-3. Cheers. Cheers.